and welcome to my channel and today I will be showing you guys how to make the most delicious spaghetti and meatballs with meatballs that are made from scratch. Stay tuned, you don't want to miss this. get right into it so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna get an onion we're gonna peel it and we're gonna use a half of that onion I'm just cutting it up in smaller pieces just so it won't have a lot of stress on my blender okay then I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna grab some garlic this is about 15 garlic cloves and I'm gonna put them in there you could use less or more depending on the size okay now I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to mince them in the blender and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put them in that bowl and set them to the side now I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna grab a big old bowl and I'm gonna add about 1.5 five pounds of ground beef and i'm gonna use one pound of ground chicken you guys okay okay this is a great recipe for meatballs especially if you're trying not to eat pork and you want to make meatballs without pork in it this is a great recipe for that and when you're making meatballs or like meatloaf it's always good to use more than one kind of meat that's what's really going to give it the flavor and make it taste good okay so then i went ahead and i added some parsley i added some breadcrumbs i added some chicken flavored bouillon and i also added about about two tablespoons of the minced garlic and um um, garlic and onion that you see me mix up earlier okay and then we're gonna go ahead we're gonna add two large eggs and you guys do not forget that I'm gonna have the exact measurements and recipe for you in the description box below have no fear you know your girl Freddie is here all right then I went ahead and I got some parmesan this is fresh parmesan that I went ahead and um I um grind or grain whatever you know what I'm trying to say okay and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make sure it's packed okay this is one cup cup packed of um parmesan cheese okay and we're just gonna go ahead we're gonna put that in there that's gonna give it some flavor it's gonna make it taste real good okay when it hit the back of your throat it's gonna make you want to dance you know how you start eating and the food tastes so good you want to start dancing that's what that's gonna do then we're gonna go ahead we're gonna add our seasonings as you can see i added all dobo i added some basil i added some um some garlic powder some onion powder all of that and i also added some milk and the reason you're gonna add the milk is because it's going to make your meatballs nice and soft you won't have big old big old golf balls okay that's hard like real hard when you try to eat it you could hit somebody in the head with it and they and they gonna fall to the ground we're not gonna have that when you add that milk it's gonna make it moist as soon as that meatball hits your mouth it's gonna dissolve okay it's gonna dissolve like i do when i go outside because i'm sugar <laughs> yes shot anyway then we're gonna go ahead we're going to use um i'm using my um my measuring spoons to make the meatballs because i want my meatballs to be kind of uniform meaning i want them all to look like about the same size so i use like two tablespoons and then i just ball it up together until i have something that's about the size of a golf ball okay then i also um before placing the meatballs onto the pan when you're done rolling them spray some um non-stick spray because you don't want your meatballs to stick okay then we're gonna go ahead we're gonna put a skillet on the stove at medium high heat six seven and we're gonna put about one cup of oil let that oil get nice and hot then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add the meatballs you want to make sure to not overcrowd your pan because what happens when you overcrowd your pan that it takes the food longer to fry okay so it's gonna make them like difficult to fry because there's so much in there and they don't have enough space they need their space so that they can fry okay so don't put too much in there okay and let them cook each on each side for about like um, I say two to three minutes just until they're nice golden brown they got some color on them they do not have to be cooked all the way through at that time because we can always put them um, in the oven so that they can um, finish cooking okay or if you're making spaghetti sauce you can also let them finish cooking in the pasta sauce all right and boom bam that's how the meatballs look when they're done frying baby they look so good oh my goodness Whew, Chad. then we're gonna go ahead we're gonna put them in the oven at 350 degrees for about 10 minutes to let them finish cooking then i went ahead and i put a pot on the stove at medium high heat six seven and i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna add two tablespoons of olive oil then i went ahead and i added some chopped up onions and some chopped up 
bell peppers. You can use any color bell peppers you want, baby. That's your business. Whichever ones you feel taste good. Because somebody told me they all don't taste the same. For me, they all taste the same. But, baby, you do you and you do what's best for you and what's going to work for you. That part. Then we're going to go ahead. We're going to let that cook for approximately one to two minutes, you know. Then we're going to go ahead. We're going to start adding our pasta sauce. So, I added two jars of pasta sauce. I added Classico. I used it to 24 ounce of Classico garlic, um, roasted garlic, and um, traditional, okay? You can use whatever kind of garlic sauce whatever kind of um meat um pasta sauce you want baby that's your business all right all right then i went ahead and i also put about um a half a cup of water in there because i like to put a little bit of water into the pasta um jar and shake it a little bit and put it into my pot so i can make sure i get everything okay no pasta is left behind then we're gonna go ahead we're gonna start adding some seasoning into our pasta sauce because you know you know very well all those pasta sauce taste the same they all taste like tomatoes and some more tomatoes and that's it and that's all because it don't look like they put no type of seasonings in there child you, you could tell mm, do you know what <laughs> Yeah, you could tell what kind of people made those. <laughs> but anyway, let's continue. Let's continue. We're going to go ahead. We're going to put one cube of chicken flavor or bouillon just so we could add some flavor. We're going to go ahead. We're going to add some fresh garlic because, baby, you know you want to add that fresh garlic because it's going to make it taste so good. You're going to actually taste that garlic. It's just going to take it to a different dimension. So go ahead and add a little bit of garlic. I'll say about like three minutes garlic. All right. All right. All right, then we're going to go ahead. We're going to put some adobo. We're going to put some seasoning salt. We're going to put some basil. And then we're just going to go ahead and we're going to mix everything together and let all the flavors combine and become one as a unit. Child, so it could explode in your mouth. Ooh, I'm trying to tell you. Then we're going to go ahead. We're going to add a half a cup of sugar. Baby, don't even come for me. Don't even come for me. Sugar goes in spaghetti. If you didn't know, well, now you know this ain't enough for debate don't argue with me argue with your mama babe don't play with me sugar goes in spaghetti that's it and that's all then we're gonna go ahead we're gonna let that sugar dissolve for about two to three minutes and once it's done and dissolved into that pasta sauce we're gonna go ahead we're going to add the meatballs okay we're gonna add the meatballs mix the meatballs very well in there and let them go ahead and simmer in there for about five minutes and baby once the meatballs is done simmering in that pasta sauce go ahead and boil your spaghetti using the instructions on the back of the box and boom there you have it who child Let's go ahead and give this beautiful dish a moment of silence for the beauty that it holds. Yes, child, yes. All I did was go ahead and put a little bit of Parmesan, Parmesan cheese at the top, baby. And I went ahead and sprinkled a little bit of parsley on the top. And baby, you can't tell me nothing because this spaghetti and meatball dish is the bomb. .com. Once you put the meatballs in your mouth and it dissolves, baby, who child? You going to keep coming and begging for more. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Bye. Until next time.